Today we are going to start with chapter number 9 of science that is disaster management. First of all, we will study what do you mean by disaster? Answer, disaster is the sudden event that causes large scale damage to life, property and social aspect of a nation and society. The next question is, what are the different types of disasters? The answer, the different types of disasters are natural disaster and man-made disaster. Last year, we have studied various natural calamities or natural disasters. Now, we are going to study about earthquake, fire and landslides. Now, let us start with the first topic that is earthquake. In earthquake, we are going to study about what is an earthquake, focus and epicenter of earthquake, Shocks of earthquake, seismograph or seismometer. Now, what is an earthquake? Sudden vibrations on the earth and shaking of the earth's surface or ground is called an earthquake. The earthquake is caused due to seismic waves. Focus and epicenter of earthquake. Focus. It is the point within the earth where an earthquake rupture starts. Epicenter It is the point above the focus on the earth's surface. In this area, there is a major loss as the strong waves reach the epicenter first. Shocks of earthquake The shocks occurred due to an earthquake can be mild or intensified. Intensified means extreme or acute. On the earth's surface, mild earthquakes occur in a large number, but they are less destructive, whereas the acute or intensified earthquake are occurring rarely, but they are very much destructive. Every day, earthquakes are noticed at some or the other places on the earth. According to the observation of National Earthquake Information Center, every year, nearly 12,400 to 14,000 earthquakes occur on the earth. Seismograph or seismometer The machine or instrument which records the earthquakes is called seismograph or seismometer. You can see it in the figure. Two types of seismometer are there. One is vertical seismometer and the other one is the horizontal seismometer. The accentuation or intensity of earthquake is measured in Richter's scale. Richter scale is the mathematical unit of measuring an earthquake. Let us start with the causes of an earthquake. First, volcanic eruption. Most earthquakes are caused because of the movement of magma. The magma exerts pressure on the rocks until it cracks the rock. Every time the rock cracks, it makes a small earthquake. Second, Stress of big dams on the earth. Earthquake occurs because of the stress or weight of water on the rocks in the big dams. Water pressure created on the micro cracks in the ground under and near a reservoir causes earthquake. Third, mining. Because of mining, the material is removed from the earth and instability is created in the earth leading to sudden collapse which triggers earthquake. Fourth, underground atomic test. Because of underground atomic test, the ground surface above the explosion get fractured, causing movements of tectonic plates leading to earthquake. Fifth, the steam formed tries to come out from the loosened earth surface causing earthquake. Water percolates through the cracks of the earth. Due to tremendous heat, the water converts into steam. The steam formed tries to come out from the loosened earth surface, causing earthquake. Effects of Earthquake Earthquake affects on biological, economic and geographical factors. Biological impact like loss of human beings wild animals 
and pets. Ecosystem destruction due to the loss of biodiversity. As biodiversity loss is the extension of species, that is, plants or animals, loss of biodiversity poses an immediate danger for food and causes ecosystem destruction. Economic impacts like economic loss and destruction of infrastructure, like electric poles, pipelines, houses, buildings, roads, railway tracks are destroyed. Possibility of fire in cities increases. Geographical impact like direction of flow of rivers and stream changes. If there is earthquake at the bottom of ocean, it may create tsunami waves and thereby causes large scale destruction of coastal region. Level of groundwater change that is, it either decreases or increases. Precautions to be taken at the time of earthquake, that is the do's and the don'ts. If you are at home, do not get scared, not to run here and there, stand still at one place, either sit on the ground, under a table or below the bed or any other furniture. Wait there until the movement of the earth stops, protect your head and face by covering it with folded hands. If outside the house, do not wait near or below the tall buildings, trees or electric poles. If you are in a vehicle, park your vehicle at a safe place and sit inside it. Avoid doing following things during an earthquake. Avoid using lift in the multi-storied buildings. Instead, use staircase. Do not sit in an uncomfortable position for a long time. Switch off the main electric supply as after the earthquake there is a possibility of fire. Do not use candles, lanterns or matchbox. Instead of that, use torches. Earthquake resistant buildings. What are earthquake resistant buildings? The constructions which do not get damaged due to earth's movement up to a certain limit are called earthquake resistant buildings. Advanced technology is used for earthquake resistant buildings. Some codes of conduct made by the Indian Standard Institute for constructions of buildings are IS 456 that is buildings are constructed IS 1893 that is earthquake resistance constructions are performed IS 13920 that is ductile detailing of reinforced concrete structures subjected to seismic forces to get prior intimation about earthquake modern equipments like laser ringing very long baseline geyser counter creep meter strain meter tight gauge, tilt meter, volumetric strain gauge, etc. are used.